I'm here to do a walk around today um, of Spotsylvania's uh, Puck Pumper. Uh, Spotsylvania County sits in uh, Virginia along Interstate 95. Uh, it's about 400 square miles with about a population of 125,000. Um, it's directly between Washington, D.C. and Richmond, Virginia. The area is suburban uh, and rural in nature. Uh, the county department is a combination system. Uh, it currently has 10 stations uh, with an 11th set to open this spring. Uh, there are approximately 200 volunteer and 200 career personnel uh, in the county uh, that cover a pretty broad area uh, with all services, fire and EMS. Uh, I'm going to introduce Corey McGee. Uh, Corey is a training officer with uh, Spotsylvania Volunteer Fire Department. Corey, why did you guys choose Pierce? Uh, in January 2015, Mike took us out to the Pierce facility and we got to see the product built firsthand. Uh, it was a beautiful product. Uh, everything was very well handcrafted, put together. Uh, one of our biggest things that we liked while we were there was the, the, the friendly environment that was introduced to us. Um, everybody that worked there invited us up to look at the product being built or uh, uh, invited us to do anything. Nobody was mad that we were kind of walking around looking and uh, we, got to, we got to do everything that we wanted to do with this fire truck. I appreciate it. So the unit itself is a, it's a, it's a 2015, I'm sorry, a 2016 uh, Pierce Velocity. Uh, the unit was built on an 84 inch cab with a 10 inch raised roof. It does have a Detroit diesel, a 500 horsepower engine. Um, Spotsylvania chose the large, uh, the large cab for uh, space for firefighters, uh, officers, driver in the front and then crew in the rear. Um, it does have a pretty large EMS compartment in the rear, uh, in the rear of the cab. The Puck Pumper, uh, it's a 1500 GPM Puck Pump um, using a three cross lay configuration above the, above the discharge panel. Um, everything's enclosed in the Puck behind roll up doors. Uh, Puck control panel here uh, and then this, is, this will be used for uh, engineering activities, uh, tools, hose rolls and uh, appliances. Driver's side of the truck we're going to use for, uh, the department will use for stabilization uh, equipment. Um, so all of their tools, their struts, will be uh, installed in this compartment. The unit does have an old dry hopper up top. It's dedicated with a, it's an individual hatch compartment. Um, chute deploys to the rear on the driver's side of the truck. At the rear, storage for a 24-foot and a 14-foot ground ladder. Also have hard suction storage and then a supply line up top. Uh, Spotsylvania will use the rear R1 compartment for uh, cribbing, stabilization, uh, and they also have a fold-up step to, uh, to, to allow the win portable winch to be installed in the, uh, in the insert. Around on the passenger side, this will be for hydraulic tool storage, uh, hydraulic equipment storage uh, in the rear compartment. Did utilize Sliding, locking, bar for the hydraulic reels to get them away from the truck when they're deployed. Uh, that'll uh, that'll enable the, the reels to pay out a lot easier, uh, and it'll also eliminate the ability for the hoses to drag against the body of the truck. Uh, additional storage on the passenger side for uh, firefighting and rescue equipment, uh, and then in the forward compartment on the passenger side. Um, utilizing sliding and locking tool boards for equipment storage uh, and then an electric cord reel. Uh, the unit's equipped with a 20 kW Harrison uh, hydraulic generator. Uh, it is over top in the, in the storage area. Um, also has a Wilbert um, 15 foot mast style light tower. Uh, it's equipped with AC powered Whelan uh, LED lights. Uh, it's a forehead design. Spotsylvania did a few things with the truck. Um, going to utilize a custom compartment uh, in the puck notch area on each side of the cab for uh, large extinguishers, water extinguishers, uh, and then any other uh, long firefighting tools that uh, they can fit in this side. You'll see that uh, for ergonomic purposes, the department chose to go with angled handrails to get firefighters in and out of the cab safely, uh, just like you're walking up steps in, hand moves up to jump in. Um, seating for six inside the cab, did utilize Bostrom seats with secure all brackets. 
uh, all custom embroidery uh, on the on the seats themselves. You'll notice that uh, the combination department and, and you know operating jointly, uh, the volunteers and the county fire rescue and emergency management uh, patches are uh, are featured inside the cab. Yeah, the front bumper is equipped with a six inch inlet um, with a swivel uh, storage for uh, saw sleeve uh, in the front and then uh, a 12,000 pound front mounted electric winch. Um, do have storage for, uh, for stabilization, chains, uh, any type of change of direction over here uh, on the passenger side uh, along with uh, the mechanical siren on the bumper. Wheel and uh, warning light package all the way around, uh, LED headlights uh, round out some of the features of it, and then the custom, uh, the custom Spotsylvania gold leaf all the way around. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, uh, joining us to uh, take a look around at uh, Spotsylvania's truck, and uh, see you from FDIC.